What up, YouTube? It's Rain. The ma 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 ask. <clears throat> you know the ones when it's the night after, um, and it's only Thursday. It's Thursday morning. It's probably about eight o'clock. Um, I just feel fucked. But um, I'm gonna do this unboxing. Um, oh yeah, sorry. You know who we are. You know who we be. Chopper, aka. So, um, this, these should be, um, well, I'm not even sure, I think they should be the, um, tech challenges, um, yeah, oh, oh, okay, we have a problem, Houston, we have a problem. You know things just happen just like in a mad way. Okay. Right. Um well, well this is the unboxing. Um and as you can obviously see it's a bit nuts. Right, so what I will do, I will do a a, a review of these. Well I'll do a quick look. I won't I won't do the quick look. Actually yeah, I'll do the quick look now. I might as well. So these are the three lab fives. Um and you know what? I, I I've been dying for these, dying. Um, not that I've got two pairs. Uh, one, you know, it doesn't matter about that. Anyway, um, so three lab fives. Can't remember why they're called three lab fives. Um, I think it was because of some charitable organisation. Um, these retailed for quite a bit actually, one hundred and seventy-five pounds. Um, a lot of people say that it's a waste of money. Um, I just think it's a, it's a collector's trainer. If you if you do have the money to buy them, buy it. You know what I mean. Um, the the quality is not that bad, but I just think it's a black three lab. You had the actual um, the, the the infrared three labs, which which were quite they were nice. I got those as well, um, and they I don't know. I just I just thought there was a nice trainer, um, I, and I was never a fan of the fives, um, but I, I am slowly becoming a fan of them now. Um, I wish these laces were different, um, but obviously you can see that milky mesh just in between there. That's one of the tellers in regards to the reps, if they're reps or not. Um, and then you've got that um, that um, that thing there. You know, it was the lace lock thing. It's actually a, a like a a cloudy, clear um, lace lock with the silver um, tag tab. Um, you know what they did do in the here. The, in the actual trailer, the inside, it used to be um, like a leather, but they've changed that to a material, um, and I think that's bad. I think that um, that takes from the quality, if I'm honest, um, and takes from what the trainer actually was. But hey, how it's done. You've got that infrared, so you've got that jump man there, which is just a little bit raised, which is nice. And then you've got the sole, which is that kind of translucent blue tinted or blue tinged sole. Um, Look, you, you, you got we we we, we got to be quite frank and quite honest. These are 175 pounds in the UK. Not everybody can afford them. Um, a lot of people believe that these have resale value, hence why they were buying them like crazy. I don't believe there is much resale value in these. They're 175 pounds. You'll probably get a hundred. You'll probably resell them for 125 max. Um, if you're lucky. A hundred. Um, I might as well just mess around. A hundred. You might. You might resell for a hundred. Uh, Two hundred and fifty. If you're lucky. Um, but again, entirely up to you what you want to do. You can still get these. Size have them in Cambridge. I was in Cambridge the other day. Um, I believe you can still get them on the Nike website or in the Nike store. Nike Town. Sorry. Foot Patrol still have them. Me personally, I like them. If someone does want a pair at retail and you're a size 7 UK, holler at me. I'll just give you these at retail. I'm not trying to um, make no money off anybody. You get me? But anyway, it's Rain the Mask um, signing out.